You got 15 seconds to answer <laughs> this question. Okay. How does it feel, your personal feeling, when you're inspiring people? They're incredible. Oh, my gosh. Um, It's like an out-of-body experience. I'm like, oh, my gosh, am I really the catalyst for this? So, like, of course, that makes me think about the event and how I was just, I was there and I was witnessing everything that was happening because of me. And it was just, it blew, it blew, it blew my mind. It blows my mind. I just, it's just like me, like me, the brown girl from the projects. Like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I can't even really put it into words. And that's probably been the hardest part after the event. Everybody's like, how was it? How was it? How was it? Hello, Incredible One. I am Darnielle A. Jervy, and I am so excited to welcome you to Incredible Factor TV. Now, if you ask me, this is the place you must be to learn breakthrough strategies to make your life and business an incredible one. Every week, we take a question from someone in our community, and this week, we are taking Tina's question. Hi, Darnielle. I'm working on my customer acquisition goals, and I'm trying to determine what I can do to make sure that I get to retain my clients. I know that I can get new ones each year, but I truly buy into the adage that it's cheaper to keep your clients from project to project. What can I put in my arsenal to keep my clients longer? So first and foremost, Tina, thank you so much for asking your question. And you're right, in general, and, and this is across many industries, client acquisition costs are much cheaper. It is cheaper to keep her, her being your ideal client and the clients that you're currently working with. So what I personally recommend, if you really want to keep your clients for a longer period of time, and you're just going to have to go with me in this example because I'm not exactly sure what kind of business you're in, but what you want to make sure that you're doing is that you're not trying to do everything you could possibly do for your clients in one engagement. You've probably heard me talk about this before on a previous episode of Incredible Factor TV. I'm talking specifically about developing what I like to call a problem progression plan. What that means is that one problem at a time, you're going to solve a problem for your clients. If you only focus on solving one problem at a time, there's going to be a new problem that emerges when they get that solution, and that creates another opportunity for them to continue working with you. Outside of having a really robust problem progression plan for your clients, the various types of problems that you solve for the various types of accounts that you work on, the other things that I think you really need to have or number one, you need to have a, a proven track record. There have to be tons of previous clients standing up and talking about how over periods of time they work with you. Personally, in my own business, I'm at the point now where I've got clients who have been with me for the entire four years that I've been offering Incredible Factor University, which is pretty awesome. They keep coming back over and over and over again. So you want to be able to have some of that same success in your business. And then the other thing that I would say outside of the problem progression plan that is really robust and highlights the problems you're going to solve and amazing success stories and raving fans talking about how amazing it is to work with you would be what I call beyond expectations customer service. Now, you have to always assume that everyone out there who does technically do what you do is offering great customer service. But I'm talking about beyond expectations customer service. So that means that you know what they need and you're constantly exceeding that to the point where it creates an emotional connection and tie to you so that they are always looking to continue working with you, being in your environment, being in your space in order to get the results that they want. That's just a fraction of what I'm going to share with you when you join me for the after party on our blog at IncredibleOneEnterprises.com where I'll share some more things that you need to have in your arsenal to make sure that you truly do build clients for life. If you enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and subscribe. You can do it right here on this page by hitting the subscribe key. Then you want to make sure that you share it with your friends, fans, and followers via social media. And if you want to make sure that you stay on the cutting edge of strategies to help you to consistently move the needle in your business, then you want to make sure you're receiving our weekly easing, The Incredible Factor. And don't forget, join us on the blog to share your two cents, because I can't wait to hear what you have to say about this week's episode. This has been Darnell A. Jervy from Incredible Factor TV saying, be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.